Today's topic, how to make your first $1,000 on ClickBank from scratch. Da, da, da. No long talk, let's go straight to it. Oh, you're broke right now. You want to find a way to make some money online. So you go on YouTube and you type in how to make money online. Then you come across this topic called ClickBank Affiliate Marketing. And you see all of these people teaching you how to make money on ClickBank, but they never show you proof and they never made money on ClickBank themselves. Well, 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 all of that ends right here, right now. No need to fear. Drill is here. <laughs> some of you may know me, some of you don't. For those that don't know me, I made over $50,000 within the past year and a half doing ClickBank Affiliate Marketing. And I'm actually showing you guys proof on the screen right here so that you guys can see. And that's just from one ClickBank account. I got multiple accounts. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to ClickBank. And I'm going to teach you guys step by step on how you can go from zero to making your first $1,000 on ClickBank during in this video so i want you guys to sit back relax get some snacks also hit the like button because this is gonna be good Now the very first step to this process is to change your mindset. You have to change your mindset. Now before you click off this video, let me tell you guys why this is so important. So let's say we have John and we have Billy, right? Both John and Billy, they haven't made a sale yet online and they're looking to start with ClickBank Affiliate Marketing. So John has a mindset of no matter what happens, no matter how long it takes, he will make money with Affiliate Marketing and he also speaks life into himself. So he tells himself every single day that he is confident, he is a successful entrepreneur, he is making money with ClickBank. He just speaks life into himself. So after a couple of weeks of doing ClickBank, he makes no money, but he doesn't give up because he's a successful entrepreneur and he already committed to himself that no matter what happens and no matter how long it takes, He's gonna stick it out, so he keeps going. He keeps I think part of the reason why a lot of people don't succeed or have the uh, shiny object syndrome, they go from one thing to the next. Oh, this week it's oh, ClickBank. Next month it's Shopify. Next month it's Amazon FBA. Because of the fact that your own personal financial situation isn't somewhat good, you are rushing the process and trying to find the quickest thing, which may not always be the best thing for you to make more money. If you're currently working a job, get into the habit of putting 20% or 30% of your bi-weekly income directly into your savings account so that you can build an emergency fund of at least $1,000, right? That's, what, that's the first step. Then you wanna pay off all your current debts or your the more pertinent debts, right? Your student loans, adding, adding an extra payment. So instead of paying it monthly, try paying it bi-weekly, right? So that you can essentially double the payments and you're attacking the interest and, and ultimately the principal at a quicker rate. Compare um, 12 payments of your of payments towards your towards your uh, student loan amounts compared to 24 payments attacking the interest and attacking the principal, right? So ultimately, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I want y'all to understand is that it's, gonna, it's a long tail game. You're looking at at least a year of investment, a year of learning, developing your, your voice on camera, ideally make YouTube videos to promote ClickBank, ClickBank products, developing your voice, uh, honing your editing skills and stuff like that. Minimum a year. If you really wanna see long-term success in any business venture, I would say a year. That's why you see a lot of these apps and companies, people invest in the companies, but they take losses for a decent amount of years before they ultimately turn a profit, right? So minimum a year. Stick to one thing for minimum a year, and if it doesn't work for about a year, or you see no progress in some way, then go ahead and do something else. But a year, one year, fully commit to it, you're good, All right? And ultimately also, once you have an emergency fund of at least $1,000, then you may want to think about building a further emergency fund of at least three to 12 months worth of expenses covered using your nine to five job, which essentially means you use your nine to five to give you a buffer room so you can focus wholeheartedly on your side hustle or you pick up a part-time job that's less demanding so that you can focus more time on your side hustle, which is essentially ClickBank, right? So that's essentially how I would say to not rush the process and not get discouraged too easily. One year for long-term and sustainable growth. He's pushing, he keeps speaking life into himself and eventually he makes his first sale and then the rest is history. Then we have Billy. Now Billy's mindset is he's just trying to make some money. That's it. He just wants to make some money fast. So after a couple weeks of doing ClickBank affiliate marketing and making no sales, he quits. He gives up. He feels like this isn't for him. ClickBank is not the way to go. So he goes and does Shopify dropshipping or SMMA, Amazon FBA, something else. So you see the difference, right? That's why I said first things first, you got to change your mindset. You got to speak life into yourself because if you don't, when things get hard, which they are, when you don't make sales right away, if your mindset isn't right, you're going to give up. You're going to go try something else. And then when that doesn't work, you're going to go try something else. And then it's going to be a repeat cycle. So no matter what, believe in yourself. Now, step number two is to find a niche and pick a product to promote. Now for this, I'm about to hop inside my computer so I can show you guys how to do this. But as you can see, I'm on ClickBank right now and I'm on the marketplace, right? So as you can see on the side, they got a bunch of different categories that you can choose from. Now the best niches to promote are the spirituality niche, the health and fitness niche, the relationship niche, and the make money online niche. I'm going to just go into the health and fitness niche for 
for example, so let's just go to health. Also, I would say the addiction niche. Addiction, <laughs> for me personally, I feel like everybody struggles with some type of addiction, whether it is pornography, alcohol, marijuana, opioids, Adderall. People, you know, people use Adderall to focus, but they might get hooked on it because, you know, they want to always be focused. And a host of other more harder drugs like heroin and stuff like that. So addiction, the, the, the addiction niche, withdrawal symptoms, uh, insomnia, stuff like that, that occur when you quit, it's something to think about. I do it myself, that's, that's my baby, that's, that's my baby niche, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the niche that I personally dominate in, but, but more specifically marijuana, but that's something to think about, because I don't think a lot of people talk about it, but a lot of people struggle with addiction. Finish. Now to find the best selling products, all you have to do is sort it by gravity. So all you gotta do is hit gravity right here. And you can see right here, gravity on this product is 820. So that means over 800 people have sold this product in the last couple weeks. So hey, if 800 people can do it, that means you can do it as well. And the average sell on it is $102. So you just wanna scroll through and look at what products will be like the best fit for you. And you also wanna pick a niche that you're actually interested in. Because if you don't pick a niche that you're interested in, after a while, it's gonna start feeling like work. And once it feel like work, you're not gonna wanna do it. You're gonna give up when things get hard. So if you're actually interested in the niche that you're talking about or promoting, it's not gonna be as bad and you're actually gonna be having fun doing it. But Going back to the products, as you can see, they got keto products. They got a bunch of different weight loss products that you can choose from. So no matter what like subtopic that you're in, they have products for it. And let me go over to spirituality, right? So same thing, you just wanna sort it by gravity. And as you can see, they got the numerology readings, they got manifestation magic, 15 minute manifestation. So you just wanna look through the products and see which one is the best for you, like I said. So once you found your niche in the product, now it's time to build an audience. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. You have to build an audience, especially if you want success long-term, you have to build an audience. So for this, I recommend building an audience on Instagram or YouTube. Now these are two completely different platforms. So let me break down and give you guys some tips on each one of these platforms. All right, so I'm on one of my Instagram accounts right now and it's called Daily Motivation 08. And as you can see, I'm in the spirituality niche for this Instagram account. Now I haven't posted on this account in a while because I took a break from ClickBank, as you guys know. I'm just Honestly, I know, I, I guess you're gonna talk about Instagram, but I always say YouTube. I have a whole video on how to edit YouTube videos, how to create thumbnails. Those are the two main things I, I feel like people will struggle with to create YouTube content. I got you. In the cards, the description, or the pinned comment. But essentially with YouTube, you're able to build uh, an audience base that is associated with you. They see your face, they, they know your personality a little bit, they like what you are talking about, and they can associate with you, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, but also once you actually got, get monetized, you have a thousand subscribers, stuff like that, you essentially build a second source of income, which Instagram doesn't pay you for anything. <laughs> they just use, use you. And moreover, always remember, when you are going to ask yourself a question or you're looking for an answer to your question, what platform do you go to first? You either go to Google or YouTube. You don't necessarily go to Instagram to find out how to make more money online or how to tie shoelaces or how to build a, how to do yourself something, right? You don't really go to Instagram or TikTok or even Snapchat. You go to Google or YouTube, you type in what you're looking for and then you get results. That's, that's another way where I see YouTube slash Google trumps a lot of these other platforms. It's returning, so I'm gonna be posting on this account again, but you wanna build an account in a specific niche. So let's say you're gonna be promoting, let's go back to ClickBank. Let's say you're gonna be promoting, let's actually go to a different niche. Let's go to health and fitness. And let's say you're gonna be promoting this offer right here, the number one product on ClickBank. You wanna build an Instagram account in the health and fitness niche and just post health and fitness content. So what you wanna do is you wanna look up health and fitness, right, health and fitness. So here's a good example of a page that you want to model after, right? So they got 124K, right? And in that bio, you can clearly see that this is a health and fitness page. So you want to make your bio clear for when people come to your page, they know what your page is about. But let's scroll down and see that content, right? So as you can see, a thousand likes, a thousand eight hundred likes, four thousand likes. Now what you want to do is you just want to scroll through that page and see what posts are performing the best. So as you can see, this one got four thousand likes on it, right? So this was be funny because I actually use my uh, community tab, you know, the community tab on your on people's inst on YouTube people's YouTube channels. I use my community tab as like a meme page, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so essentially I'm, I'm doing the Instagram thing on from Instagram, but on my community tab in my uh, YouTube channel. So <laughs> I get it, but like, I just feel like YouTube trumps all these other platforms when it comes to an, uh, building an audience base and just in general, right? You have the organic reach, you have the, the fact that uh, YouTube also promotes your your um, uh, stuff to people's home pages, like on your Instagram homepage. The only people you see there are people that you follow. But on your YouTube homepage, you see people that you already subscribed to, but also other additional content or videos that are related to things you watched in the past or things you could be interested in, in the future. Instagram, all these other platforms, they can't do that shit. 
Okay, just understand that. Post that I would model after. So you just want to take this post and put your own twist on it, right? So let's just see. Let's just scroll through. 2,400, 3,200, 6,000 likes, right? So this is another good example. This is a post that I will actually post on my page. Now, what you can do as well is you can just take this post and post it on your account and just give them credit for it in the captions. So that's my strategy for finding good content. Now, you also want to add hashtags to your post. So let me actually show you guys. Let's see. They added hashtags to their post. And as you can see, they added some in the comment section as well. So hashtags are extremely, extremely important. You want to add hashtags to every single post. Now, as you can see, every single hashtag is related to the content that they're posting. So if you're in the spirituality niche, add some spirituality hashtags. If you're in the health and fitness niche, add some health and fitness hashtags. And as you can see, they're doing this as well. But yeah, you gotta add hashtags to every single post, and this is gonna allow you to get seen by new people. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, like, Drell, how am I gonna get new followers to my account when I'm just starting off, right? So one of the best strategies I've used is just go into that post, right, and turn on that post notifications. All you gotta do is hit this three dots right here. You gotta actually follow them first. So if you follow them, you can actually turn on that post notifications. And then as soon as they post a new photo, you go in and follow the people that like the photo. So all you gotta do is go to the likes and just follow the people that like that photo. And the reason why this works so well is because because they're on Instagram at that time. So they're gonna see you follow them. And if you're posting similar content to the post that they just liked, chances are they're gonna follow you as well. And lastly, when it comes to Instagram, you wanna be posting every single day. There's no excuses, man. Instagram is so easy to find content. It's so easy to post on Instagram. It's not like YouTube where you gotta create a whole video. Instagram, all you're really doing is posting images or you can post a video on there as well, but it's easy to do. So you gotta be posting. And that in itself is another barrier to entry that a lot of people can't do or don't want to do. So every single day and i recommend posting multiple times a day if you can like when i first started off i was posting five times a day like at least five times a day when i first started off so hey the grind gotta be real if you really want it you're gonna be posting a couple times a day but at the bare minimum you gotta post once a day so that's my tips for instagram now i'm about to get into youtube so with youtube you basically want to do the same thing as instagram you want to create you a channel in the niche that you're gonna be promoting clickbank products in so let's say health and fitness for example first thing you want to do is take a look at your competitors so i just got weight loss journey so we're just gonna hit search right here and we're just gonna take a look at what other people are doing in the niche right so let's just take a look at her channel Boom. Now you want to look at their channels and then sort it by most popular. Boom. And then you just want to take what works. So the same thing with Instagram. You want to see what works on your competitors' channels and then, then put your own twist on it, right? So as you can see how I lost 40 pounds, my weight loss journey. So if this was you, if I was in a weight loss niche, I would make a video on my weight loss journey. Or like I'm a skinny dude, because as you guys can see, I'm skinny, right? I would make a video on my weight gaining journey, right? Something like that. But it's important to remember that it has to be related to the clickbank product. So if you're selling a weight loss program, you want to be making weight loss videos. And if you're selling like the numerology readings, you don't want to be posting weight loss content. You want to be posting content related to numerology, spirituality, and all of that good stuff. Now with YouTube, it's two things that you have to get down with YouTube. Your click the rate and your watch time. Now you click the rate, you just have to have a good thumbnail and a good title. So you can just look at your competitors once again, see what kind of thumbnails that they're using, and then you can make something similar to theirs. Now watch time, you just want to make your videos over 10 minutes long and try to be entertaining. You know, you have to be entertaining when it comes to YouTube because they want people to stay on that platform. So the longer you keep people watching, the more they'll push your videos out. Now the thing with YouTube is you're gonna grow slower than you would on Instagram. At least from my experience, like I grew Instagram accounts to like 150,000 in just like eight months. But with YouTube, that's a different story. Like that would be unheard of if I did that on YouTube. But YouTube, I feel like it's better long term because Instagram, you gotta keep posting in order to still get sales on Instagram. But with YouTube and you can have a video that you post today and that video could still be making you money a year down the line but now that you change the mindset you know what niche and product that you're promoting and you're building an audience now it's time to actually make some money yeah you pretty much summed it up you pretty much summed it up <clears throat> there are videos i made two years ago three years ago that are still making me money some of them making me a couple cents others making me a couple dollars right so honestly 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 right <laughs> whenever you see uh whenever, once you decide your topic let's say for example you talk, want to talk about addiction quitting alcohol addiction, you just simply go on YouTube, type in how to quit alcohol, common alcohol withdrawal symptoms. You simply look at the information, you put it in your own words, then you do research, right? And then you edit it, you add your personality to the video, and then you leave your link in the description. It's simple, simply in theory. It's simple in theory, but it takes a lot, it takes a while. I've seen I have videos on my channel that took them six months or even a year to start really making me money or to start actually getting traffic, right? So it's a long tail game. Six months to a year for what a one video to blow up, it's crazy. And I even have some videos on my channel that made me, that have like 30,000 views, but may only make me a couple of dollars, over, but have only made me a couple of dollars. Whereas other videos, uh, it only has about 20,000 views, but it's made me like more videos than the video with more views, you know what I'm saying? So. It's a lot and it's a lot that goes into it. But if you want more information about the whole YouTube algorithm, how that works and how it, you can apply YouTube principles towards ClickBank, links in the description for the YouTube Ranking Academy. Go your income, go your audience in the description and pink comment. But yo, God bless, much love, peace, and joy. Namaste. Always remember, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. And shoot too much of any good thing is good for nothing. Flip the script. I'm out. Do it. Need change, that's what you say.
forget in a few days. No more, there's a new.